previously on Fort Mang's emblem. <laughs> Foolish Mangs, did you really think I could be defeated so easily? Hey, <laughs> I will put you out of your misery. This is a nightmare, and you're never waking up. Oh! Oh, she crit him. <laughs> this changes nothing. No matter how many times you bring me down, I will always come back stronger. <laughs> Save me. Pixar, it didn't happen. What? What? But why don't you believe me? Who needs concrete proof anyway? Y you wouldn't dare execute an unarmed opponent. Guillotine. <laughs> Wait, we were hired by a woman named Saber Ash. You, have you perchance seen Lady La Rochelle and Gregor? I cannot find them anymore. No, I'm afraid. Y yes, they went that way. I saw them trying to escape the city while we were fighting off those thugs. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Here, take this as a reward for helping me out. Farewell! Really, Mangs? You can be so childish sometimes. <laughs> Cackles in Norwegian. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Fort Mangs Emberum. It is time to continue our journey to the Terra's Plateau, where we will meet our good friend guests, hopefully. At least that's what we used to do in the previous version. Due to a carefully planned coup de Todd, the Fire Emblem Fan Zone is now under Imperial control. Ah yeah, now he actually shows up as a Vyvern. The Scrubs managed to stop King Gast, blocking his way to Fire Emblem Main. The Canadian King is trapped in a hopeless situation. A handful of troops is all he has left. Manx rushes to his friend's aid, but can he succeed? Uh, we shall see. Ambitious crossover. Ah. Scrub keep. <laughs> General Edgelhar of the Scrub Army, also known as the Unbreakable. I have a task for you. King Meng has been sighted in the Fire Emblem fan zone. Your orders are to capture him and kill the morph of best waifu Lucina. A morph? The Bald King made a deal with the Hermits of Fukur Forests. They created a perfect replica of Best Waifu Lucina. You must destroy that abomination. Punish Mengs for his insolence. Understood, sire. What did he say? I'm supposed to go after the Bald King. Hmm, I see. I hope you're prepared, because this isn't going to be a walk in the park, Edgilhar. I'm well aware of that, Four Eyes, but do not worry. King Mengs will tremble before the power of true angst and bad writing. Oh, look who's here! What were you two plotting? Not your business. Scram, you filth. Uh, do you really have to be so insufferable? Now, now, Edgilhar. No need to be so rude. I merely wanted to chat with my fellow generals. After all, my companions and I were picked to compensate for your own shortcomings. <laughs> I take everything back, Edgilhar. You can insult him as much as you want. Shush, poser. The adults are talking now. You're right. Delta and I were talking before you interrupted us. Go back to your kindergarten and build some sandcastles, will ya? Hmm, so be it. I hope you're prepared for your next assignment, Edgilhar. As much as I loathe to admit it, Nax is not someone to be trifled with. Do not underestimate him. Oh, okay, nice. They gave him back Garrick. Okay, that's cool. So previously, this actually used to be Hirolu from the FE6 randomizer, but I see that they've, uh, they've catered to Ghast's and given him his true retainer. People did complain that Garrick should be Ghast's retainer, because Ghast loves Garrick. Oh, I guess we're fucked, eh? King Ghast, do not lose hope. The enemy may outnumber us, but we have a terrain advantage. Their attacks will be costly if they want to bring us down. I know full well. Still, I'm running multiple scenarios in my mind. I'm afraid that defeat is inevitable at this point. Even though I did send a messenger, there's no way reinforcements will reach us in time. I'm back! Oh my god! <laughs> did they intentionally screw with his mouth? Boy, what's the status? Not good, dear Gasty. We run out of weapons. Our own, s <laughs> our food storage is as empty as the skull of an SJW. And of course, the enemy is preparing to launch a definite attack. I think it's game over. <laughs> Ah, damn it, you two are done here. It's me they're after. Go, there might still be a chance for you to escape this death trap. But what about you? I'll break through the lines with my Wyvern. I know that they have Ballista deployed, but I'll take my chances. It's too dangerous. You're going to die, King Guests. We'll make a stand here and survive until your friends arrive. We can do this. Are you two dummies done? Look over there. There's another army approaching from the north. I believe there are those elitist guys from Fort Manx. Huh? How did you manage to spot them from here? Need I remind you that this is the game where people are able to hold a conversation despite being an entire map apart? 
Good point. In that case, plan B. Everyone, strengthen our defenses. We must survive until Meng wipes the floor with the enemy. Alright. We found them. Everyone, maintain attack formations. Gentlemen, stick to the plan. Our objective is to rescue King Gas and defeat the enemy leader. Go, go, go! Okay, so let's take a look at the map. So, if I remember correctly, the boss of this chapter, she's like really strong. Yeah, Saber Ash, but um, don't worry. Someone's gonna go and take care of her pretty soon. Uh, she has Counter and Slayer. This is funny, and she drops a Methist Tome. Pro tip, you're not gonna get this. I actually think someone has managed to kill her. It is, It can't be done if you're super fast, but I think it breaks the game if you do. I'll see why in a little bit. And of course, here is Ghasts. Canadian ruler, he's a god at basketball. He has Bracing Stand, plus 4 defense and resistance when 4 initiates battle. That's really good. Um, too bad he doesn't have his Daikon, but I do I do like that they're not adding too much custom shit. We have, of course, Boy with his bug portrait. I'm not actually sure if this is intentional or not, because in the original PME, Boy's portrait was indeed bugged, because we didn't quite know how to make portraits at that point, so his mouth bugged out like that. It's a common mistake when you do spriting. Um, but, um, we just kept it in, and it sort of became a meme. We even got fan art of Boy with his bugged mouth. So if they did this on purpose, then that's kind of clever. If it's not on purpose, and they actually fucked up, then it's hilarious still, because it's sort of a reference without being a reference. <laughs> and he has a Naga icon. Can he fly, though? That's the big question. No, he has five move. I'm really disappointed he doesn't have nice thighs as a personal skill. Really big missed opportunity here. And then we just got Garrick. And he has Adept. Oh, wow. That's really good, actually. Wow, he's really good. Really good. See, so, yeah, the reason why Gast loves Garrick is he did a support science on Garrick. And it's honestly just half an hour of gas just, like, man gasping over how manly Garrick is, really. Like, it's, it's one of the gayest support science ever. I do get it, though. Garrick is handsome as fuck. Like, I, I'd go gay for Garrick, honestly. And I'm, like, really, really straight. Alright, so... I'm not sure we want to bring Makoto. Honestly, we'll probably just bring 313 Archer and 313 Merc, honestly, for this one. I don't want to bring S because she's bad. So, we probably want to give 313 Archer and 313 Merc some weapons in that case. Like the Longbow. And some swords. Let's see, Steel Sword, Iron Blade, Killing Edge, Iron Sword, probably. Oh, that's right, we got some stat boosters to give away, so... Um... I am probably going to give the Mila's robe either to Claire, although she already got one. I could give it to Sluis as well. So we got, yeah, we got Mila's robe, Speedwing, and Duma Shield. Honestly, I'm gonna give the Speedwings to to Sluis. I'm gonna give all of them to Sluis, honestly. There you go. Nice. Nice. Now she's gonna be super tanky. Tanky waifu, tits of speed, steel, nice. or as someone pointed out in the comment section, 45 breasts. <laughs> Look at those stats! Ah, that's great. I also bought her a uh, Thunder Tome. So let's give her that. Actually, I got a lot of Thunder Tomes. Uh, Ogim don't need his Ocean Seal just yet. But what I would like for Ogim to get is a Steel Lance if we have one. I think Mecha has a Steel Lance, honestly. Let's, let's just grab Mecha Steel Lance. He doesn't need it. He has a Killer Lance. It's fine. Uh, what Mecha do need, however, is a new Javelin, so let's do this. And uh, everyone else, I think, is relatively well off at this point. Honestly, you know what? We, we're probably gonna give, like, I can give the Kill the Lance to Claire, and then Mecha can have the Steel Lance instead. Hmm, I do believe we are good right now. We are Gucci. Okay, let's go. So I'm probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like, f shove Mecha into range. On the first turn here. I kind of like doing that. But then I gotta move Louise first. And then honestly, like, I, what I also like to do is I like to drop off a unit on the first turn right here. Like, drop off a unit right here and go deal with the Ballista. Because they are sort of annoying. Um, but if I want to do that, I'll probably... I could, like, send Boss... Wait, can, can Claire rescue Boss win? She can, actually. Or she should be able to. Let's see if, Let's see if it works or not. Alright, let's go. Uh, I think she can. Ooh, cool new music. Okay, she can't. That kind of sucks. I love it. Okay, 
So this the first turn of this chapter is always a little bit hard um, because Mecha. I mean, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like smite Mecha, like so, and I'm gonna send him in here. I don't think any one of these guys will be able to do much against him, honestly. But I want to deal with the mages first and foremost. So I'm gonna break my javelin first. Honestly, Mecha's gotten a crap ton of defense, and he's got a Duma shield behind him, so I honestly think he'll be fine here. I could have even given him a pure water, honestly, if I really wanted to. But I honestly think this is a good way to start it off. There we go. Even got a Physic Staff. Now, I do want to send someone over here, though, to deal with the archers, but I'm not sure who, I'm, who that might be. I mean, I could do 313 Archer, honestly. Uh, I might also just send Bosswin with a short bow to deal with these guys, although I'm a little bit slightly worried. Um, I could give him a pure water. I think I might have to do that if I'm gonna do this. I do have like three... I got like six total pure water, so that should be fine. But yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Um, it would be nice if I stayed within range of Sarah and... Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do this. Short bow, pure water. In fact, I might give... Um, I might give Orson a Sword Weaver here, because there's a lot of mercs that could go for him, so let's do that. It's nice that we have a second healer now, I'm happy about that. And we could also put Augum in range of Mecha, honestly I wouldn't be too sad about that. But we gotta watch out for this Ballista, so let's not uh, get ahead of ourselves. Let's see, I'm just gonna send Claire in the mountains right here. Yeah, she can do well in the mountains. <laughs> My Keikaku to get the Fire Emblem fan sign out of the picture has yielded some unexpected fruit. The head of King Gast will make a fine gift for my master. Lady Ash, the Canadian monarch and his men has taken refuge in a mountain. Stronghold, do we have your permission to finish them off? Yes, flush the king and cut him down. When this is over, I will personally take care of the admins. <laughs> Admin Clinton, Saber soldiers are moving towards the struggle. It appears they're going to siege it. Hmm, this is bad. The death of King Gash will be the downfall of the Fire Emblem fan zone. I have to do something. What about the ringleader that wished to confer with the Council of Admins? He seemed powerful enough. Maybe he could lend us his strength? You're right. Find a way to contact him immediately. He's our only hope to stop that blasted woman and her schemes. And for the record, I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Mm -mm. Alright, I hope Augum will be fine now. He should be. He's got an A support with Mecha now. That is pretty go good A support. Oh my god. <laughs> Even if he crits, he does like 9 damage to Mecha. Mecha is the bankiest bank. Yeah, no problem here. But he isn't fast enough to double most of these guys, though. That was a complaint I heard from Mecha, the fact that his speed is pretty low, so he does struggle doubling, which kind of makes you bad, but... I mean, honestly, what I need Mecha to do is just absorb a lot of punishment and weaken guys, so I'm honestly fine with him not doubling. It's not a huge deal. Also, is that Archer, like, gonna attack Ghasts? Why doesn't Ghast have a Javelin equip? Okay, this works, this works. Ogim definitely needs to get a couple more points of speed though. He does struggle with the Dabl. So let's see how Gas's AI is. I think Innes normally prefers to stay inside the fort, if I'm not completely wrong. What will Gas do? Does he even have a Javelin? He does. Okay, that's good. I wonder what that Archer is doing though. Will he actually move into attack? I think Gas will probably take a couple of arrows. I mean, his defense looks pretty good and he has that warding stance. Yeah, 10 defense, he should be fine. Also, I completely forgot to check who's Marissa. Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, this is so much better than Mia! I think I think in the previous version, this was like Mia Nefany was here. Oh my god, rad! Oh, he has Astra, are you fucking shitting me? He's stronger than he looks, there's a bad end I guess meta. Yeah, so why is Rad here? So Rad became a meme during me and Mecha Shadow Dragon Let's Play. Uh, where Mecha accidentally stumbled upon a, like a 10 year old fan fiction where Rad was the main character and he was like really overpowered. It was like the most Mary Sueish fan fiction I've ever seen. 
It was like Rad just beating up a bunch of guys and all the girls wanted to sleep with him and he had like a million like items. He had like a talisman that allowed him to go invisible. He had like a mask that summoned creatures. Uh, he had like a sword that killed everything. Like it was just like, it was the worst Mary Sue fanfiction ever. And I, it was like so random that it was a rat out of all the characters who was like the main character in it. Mecha suspects that it might not even be Rad the Fire Emblem character, that it just happened to be on a Fire Emblem forum, but still. So we made it a sort of a tradition for Mecha to open up each part of Shadow Dragon with like a new chapter from the Rad fanfiction. And I like animated it with, with animations and it just became hilarious. And as a result, I actually went back uh, in a chapter and I trained Rad <laughs> and I brought Rad with me for the last of the last play and it was actually kind of funny because Rad was the only one in our team that could go up against Medius because on hard five Medius has 30 speed which makes him double pretty much everyone and he also like two shots pretty much everyone on the roster even like units like Sedgar so Rad with his I think he had 28 or 29 speed was the only one who could go up against Medius without dying which was really funny so he was actually the guy who killed Medius so, unintentionally, Rad became the MVP of the playthrough. So yeah, and here he is. I am assuming that Mecha's gonna be the one to recruit him, so that's gonna be funny. I don't know why Rad would hate Mecha, though. I mean, Mecha was the reason why Rad became relevant. He should be grateful. Ugh, our game. Why are you so bad? I mean, why are you so good? Obviously, our game's the best cavalier. So again, you always want to attack with the units in the back, obviously, because the units in the back, like if I kill this guy, for example, then 313 Arch will not have anyone to shoot at. Uh, I could also like, what I could do is I could shove 313 Mercenary into range. Agim could like go elsewhere, he could attack this guy maybe, but he just doesn't do enough damage to kill. Uh, I do have my Sword Reaver though, and the Sword Reaver actually does a lot of damage, look at that. Yeah, this works. I think we can, if we weaken this guy, we can kill him with Claire or something. That'd be good. You always want to make sure you maximize your damage output and don't waste it needlessly. Let's see. Oh, look at here. Look at here. This is good. The Mang support helps a lot, I do believe. There we go. Good job, Claire. And then what I could also do... No, wait. I just used Mang's. I could have traded the Sword Weaver over to Mang's if I wanted to. Uh, and this also works. I could attack from here, but I'm a little bit worried. Yeah, I don't want to get attacked by too many guys on Slow East. Although she is ridiculously tanky now, so maybe this is actually fine. Especially if she's within range of Mangs. Yeah, I think this is honestly fine. She's super tanky, and she's not even slow anymore. In fact, she might double some of these guys now. I think she has, like, what, 12 speed after the speed wings? Now she has 10 speed. I got some good level ups since Luis, but I had to replay, so I lost some of them, sadly, which is a little bit sad, but hey, it happens. But yeah, I think what I'll do, actually, I'll do this, and then 313 Mercenary can help out over here, while Augim helps out. Okay, no, this doesn't work. This definitely does not work. But this does work. Now, I do remember, like, we gotta get... I'm pretty sure Manx is the one that needs to recruit gas, so maybe we'll pick up Manx at some point just to get him over there. Oh, there goes my shortbow, too. That sucks. Um... Okay, this is sort of scary if I miss, but I won't miss. I guess they never miss, huh? Okay, come on, our game. We gotta, we gotta get some good level ups on you right now. Hit points, the str ah, Why is Agim leveling up so shittily? This is seriously annoying me. Alright, we'll let 313 Mercenary deal with this guy. There we go. Let's see, Iron Sword is actually not enough. We need a Steel Sword to kill this guy. Perfect. Honestly, I'm not sure if 313 Mercenary and 313 Archer are gonna be here to stay, but for now I'm using them. What is this other skill that he has? Wait, what? Foresight? Avoid the damage from enemy critical hits and skill activations? Okay. That's new. Pretty sure he did not have that before. Is that like a new thing? Why does he have two... Is that a mercenary skill? Huh. Uh... Okay. Avoid the damage from enemy critical... What? Really? So he doesn't... That's a... Wait, is that something that all mercenaries have? No, that is a three... Okay. They buffed him then in the, in the latest version. Very interesting. 
That is very interesting. Okay. Huh. Anyway, let's get Raisin's staff rank up. There we go. Um, I think... Uh, I'm gonna use men. I, I want Sarah to get more experience. I want her to become a Lalamancer. Da, 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 da. And Mecha actually cannot double this guy. Yeah, this is a problem, but uh, it's not like that arch. It's not like that mage can kill anyone, so I should be alright here. This is fine. Can get crit, but he can take like two crits to the face and still live, so I'm, I'm not too sad about that. Mm hmm. Hmm. Ow, wow, 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 wow. That does actually hurt a little bit. Just a little bit, though. There are no archers in range, so she should be alright. But yeah, this map can sort of overwhelm you a little bit. There's a lot of enemies that comes at the same time. You also gotta reach... That archer will go for the ballista, and that'll usually spell some difficulties for you. Ooh. 313 mercs. Wait, 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 wait. He doesn't take damage from enemy crits anymore. So his slow luck sort of doesn't matter. Ow. Goddamn hand axes. Yeah, I gotta reach that guy before he mounts the ballista. I also have 313 archer who can mount the ballista himself. Bosswing can't mount ballistas, I'm fairly certain, but... Oh, okay, so Garrick just charges into enemy lines. I gotta get down there fast, then. Same thing with ghasts. Holy shit, ghasts pretty good. It's too bad the green dancers don't... Wait, what the hell? Oh, I remember this. Huh? Who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Are you the one called Saberash? Indeed, what business do you have with me? How do you get here undisturbed? There's no need for you to know. You have far better things to concern yourself with. For instance, you can start with your safety. Admin Clinton sends his regards. What? What? I still have the high ground. I'm a woman, so you cannot hit me. Such stupidity deserves a rodent's deaths, and I shall do my duty. You darn classy lady. What? How dare you? I'm the great Saber Ash. Do you really think you can hit me, a woman? That would be sexual harassment. Spare me the triatrics. The hammer of justice do not discriminate on the basis of gender. Neither does disembowelment. Now stay still while I smite you on your folly. Oh wow, she actually does damage to him now. <laughs> what the hell? But how? Why? My fanboys? There, I did all I could to help. I cannot linger any, any longer. I must return to the others. The fate of the world rests in your hands, brave elitists. So yeah, you don't get to kill Saber Ash. <laughs> hey, you're up. You're getting paid a lot more than us common scrubs. Time you earned your gold. Watch your tongue with me. I don't even care about the money. Where are our enemies? That way, the Canadian troops. See, that fort over there? That's our objective. Very well, hopefully this will bring me one step closer to my sworn rival. It's almost unfair how someone so skilled with a blade also happens to be the protagonist of a shitty fanfiction. <laughs> oh, that's good. Right, so we want to get Manx down there ASAP before he dies. Uh, do we just... Oh my god, 40 damage with a double axe. That's overkill if I ever saw it. Nice! A crit! A crit! Ah. He's, he's next to... I think both the Claire and Sloise support gives him uh, crit, which is kind of hilarious. Anyway, can we top off Claire? That'd be nice. We can. Very good. So yeah, I think I might just, um, I might just drop off Manx, honestly. Because, yeah, Claire can carry Manx. I just gotta make sure there's no job. Okay, there is a javelin here, actually. Uh, but what she, what we can do is we can, we can put her here. And that should make us able to drop Manx off next turn. Actually, uh, yeah, so we'll drop Manx off next turn and he can go recruit. Should be alright. I mean, we can always, like, trade her a javelin so she can retaliate. And I think we'll let Mecha charge in here first with a Silver Lance. Let's do some damage to this guy. This sounds like a nice kill for Agim. Yep, that's what it's gonna be. He even gets doubled here. He needs to level speed and fasts. There we go. And then, since Meng's just fucked off, I guess Luis will take the front lines. 
Oh, she actually doesn't double here. That sucks a little bit. But this is fine. This is fine. She nearly has 40 hit points. I know I gave her a rogue, but still. She is really durable. 45 breasts indeed. Sure shot! Sure shot is actually a ridiculously good skill now. The extra damage component to it makes it really good, and the fact that he gets it post-promotion is also really nice. Alright, Rayson, let's heal up. Uh, wait. Uh, alright, now she needs to heal. 313 Mercenary, there we go. Perfect. And then I think I would also like to change Mecha's inventory so he can retaliate. Let's give him a javelin, shall we? Alright, Bartra's... Like, this is the problem with Bartra having smite. He usually lags behind. The fact that his movement is not great also is a problem. Mm -mm. Yeah, I hope Garrick goes to heal. I think he has a healing item on him, but still. And I also hope that Gas goes for the archer. Ow. Will she get doubled by this guy? Mercenaries are really fast. Okay, but not that fast. They don't have, like, 14 plus speed. Bah, bah. They probably will double Mecha, though. No? Okay, good. Mecha's about to level up again. With any luck, he'll get some speed on him. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Will I get doubled here? Oh, no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. That soldier has a javelin. I am fucked. Actually, does he move? I'm not sure if he does. I'm actually not sure if he does. Okay, good job, Mecha. Mecha's still fast enough to double some scrubs. Alright, strength, skills. Nice! That is a really good level up for Mecha. Strength, skill, and speed. Okay, here we go. Ow. Uh, no. Soldiers do not double. Even with the half speed Claire. Okay, I'm really glad that guy missed. Okay, so Ghast will probably run and kill the archer? No, okay, he- okay, that's perfect. Actually, that's not perfect, because Mengs can't recruit him this turn. I didn't expect him to do that. What the hell? Okay, so I gotta, like, try to predict where Ghast might move next, because he could even either move to the left or to the right. Um, shit, yeah, talk, wait, talk to Garrick, really? Can Manx recruit Garrick? I'm gonna just drop Manx off right here and, and hope that Gas is still within my range later. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta kill this fighter. We can use 313 Merc to do that. Oh, actually we cannot, what the hell? Really? Alright, guess we'll kill the archer then. Oh, he cr Really? Okay. He would have gotten a crit. A 2% crit, in fact. Then we gotta get rid of this guy. Do we have to use our Puji for this? I don't think we need to. No, we do not. Orson is beefed up on support power. On support juice. The best kind of juice. Nice. nice. Ooh. Yes, please. I think I'll just keep that, honestly. There's no. I don't see any armor knights around here, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, can Ogim get a kill yet? Nope, he cannot. Can he kill this guy? No, he cannot. But with a little bit of help from Sluis, he should be able to. Although I should be a little bit careful about putting Ogim on the front lines, because I'm pretty sure these Myrmidons double him. What kind of weapons do they have? Steel Swords. Oh, a Lance Reaver. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's super scary. That is super scary. Um, Yeah. I think we probably just want Bosswind to try and deal with that guy. If he can hit him. Maybe if we... Uh, what if we heal Mecha up first? Can we even do that? now? He's, he's out of healing range. I gotta go and heal Claire, though. I don't want her to die. Uh, what if we just send Mecha to deal with that guy? Can he even hit him? Not reliably. I think we'll just do this, honestly. Could send Ogim with the sword and deal with this Lance Reaver guy? Might have to do that, honestly. 
Yeah, he doesn't get doubled by that guy, which is kind of sweet. Fine, let's do it. Gotta get rid of this Lance Reaver, dude. He's too scary. Or the Franz Reaver. You guys remember the Franz Reaver? I remember. I remember. That was even vanilla Fire Emblem, too. Alright, can we get a sure shot? That'd be cool. Nah. In fact, uh, am I overextending Luis's survivability a little bit too much right now? I think maybe the time has come for a little bit of a... A little bit of a physics. Could have moved her down to support boss win. Oh well. Hey, Bart just gonna arrive sometime soon. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Be a little bit careful now, our game. I'm getting a little bit low. Get some get some defense and some speed. Okay. You know what? He's leveling speed, but it's like ugh, I hate single stat level ups. I really do. Okay, okay. No, 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 Agim, don't, 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 don't drop lower now. Don't drop lower now, Agim. Come on. He's in range of the soldier too, which is a problem. Ow! Come on. Hmm. I wonder if Mangs would have doubled these guys with an iron axe. I still think the steel axe is pretty good on him, though. It hits like a truck. Uh, yeah, the soldier is definitely in range, but whether or not he'll move or not, well, it remains to be seen, I guess. Uh, okay. So far, so good. I, I honestly think unless he has a steel lance, then Ogim can probably tank a hit from him. Well, these guys have hand axes, which makes them a non-issue, but um, yeah, I am worried about that soldier. Will he move or not, or is he set to guard the gate? I set to guard the gate. That is good. Well, thanks, Garrick. I'm very surprised that guy didn't go for the ballista. Okay, so Gast is in range of Mangs now, so that's great. Oh, no. I gotta kill that guy now if I want to recruit Gast. But uh, Claire should be able to do that. If not, I can always use Raisin. Although I would prefer to heal with her. But I think this is probably safer. I don't end up attacking a whole lot with Raisin. Because it's just so much more useful to have her uh, heal most of the time. But it is nice that she can attack, and she's a decent combat unit, even though she's sort of started like Sophia, her bases are pretty good. Yes! Bags! You mad dastard, did you really think I was going to let you hog all the glory? Haha, <laughs> you got me, mate. Still, I don't think I managed to emulate your level of cockiness, eh? As if. Now, how about we send these fuckers to an early grave? Sure, why not? Thank you, Manx, you have my gratitude. Alright, let's take a look at Gas's growth rate, shall we? He's a really good unit. 45 strength, 35 skill, 40 speed, 45 luck, 40 defense, 20 resistance, 78 points, 10 con. That's pretty good. Although, I do sort of object to Gas having 10 con. Like, if I have 13, Gas should at least have 12. Because Gas is a pretty big guy. Like, he... I think I weigh a little bit more than Gas, but he's taller than me. Like, 10 con is not, not Gas size. He should have 12, honestly. Um... Anyway, let's go and get Garrick. He's... it's safe for him to do that, I think. Yeah, it should be. Reinforcements have arrived, Garrick. The battle is already won, eh? Feels good to be lucky for once. Good thing we held out as long as we did. That was mostly our... your doing. Thank you. You're welcome. Now shall we join our allies and tear these fools a new one? Yep, let's do this. So does Garrick just has his, have his standard growth rates? I'm not sure. I'm too lazy to check right now. Anyway, let's go get Boy. Boy! Oh my, approaching me from behind? How audacious. Maybe you should try again while we're alone at night. Ugh, stop doing this. You know I don't swing that way. Anyways, it looks like help is on the way. Really? Perhaps Naga finally decided to throw us a boy? Ah, uh, it seems so. Now let's join our allies. Alright, I want to see boy's animations. I wonder if they kept his old animations. Yep, they did. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And now we'll turn them off. <laughs> Boy actually used to be able to attack with swords at some point, or at least he got the Binding Blade, but he don't anymore. And are these just Roy's growth rates, but without strength and skill? I'm not sure. But yeah, these are like alright dancer growths, I guess. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, see what Gas can do. 
Uh, not much against these guys. Maybe he can just go and bonk this guy. No, he can't. I'll just go and bonk this guy. Is this is actually kind of scary if I miss, honestly. I think I might just go and get some healing. Maybe there's a Pepsi Max here I can I can borrow. Uh, I'll just borrow one from Manx, honestly. In fact, let's get him a better lance as well. Like a killer lance would be good for Gast, I guess. I, he can Gast Hen Con, so he does get slowed down a lot by the Steel Lance, which sucks a little bit. All right, let's just deal with these fuckers. Wait, um, we get a, yeah, we got a door key from this guy. I remember now. I remember. Anyway, we gotta start dealing with these guys. Do all of these guys have hand axes? Really? This is kind of annoying. Uh, killer axe maybe? Ooh, 40% crit, let's go. No! Orson! You failed! You failed! Ogim took quite a beating too, poor guy. Oh, I don't think this guy will start moving, so we don't really need to worry about that guy. But these guys are beefy, and they're not that hard to double either. Alright, sorry, they're not easy to double. They're hard to double. Hit points. No! Waifu! Why would you do this? Why would you why would you get bad level ups, waifu? This is not okay. This is not okay. It's time to stop. Oh, I should have healed Ogim, honestly. He he needs it way more. Way more. Alright, let's get rid of the Myrmidon. I could just do a Pepsi Max, but... I think maybe it's better to retreat, honestly, because those Hand Axes will just attack him. Unless I will the Javelin, and Javelin against Hand Axe is not a good matchup. Let's just put it that way. Um, could hope for a lucky crit here, maybe? Yes! Good job, 313 Merc. Can always count on you. I can also attack the Hand Axe guys with a Longbow without taking retaliation damage. Skill! Yeah! Garrick is a lot better than you. <laughs> a lot better than you. And... Uh, nope. This does not exactly work out in my favor. Although I still think I'm gonna keep Ogim here and just grab myself a Pepsi Max. Wait, is there no Pepsi Max for me to grab here? Oh, nice one. Mecha actually doubles this guy. With the Steel Lance, would you look at that? Mecha ain't slow! If I remember correctly, that soldier up north, he can suddenly start moving if the right conditions are met. I think if, like, you attack him or if you move too close to him or something, then he might do it. But I don't remember right now. There we go. I do wonder if 313 Archer plus, uh, plus Claire is a kill, though. I mean, I guess I could just go kill this guy. Uh, this is a kill, actually. 18 times to 18. I'm pretty sure that... Oh, wow. Okay, well now I definitely made him move, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Unless I want to use Claire? No. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just use Claire to kill this guy now. And down he goes! Also, I gotta get Mecha in position to recruit Rad when he shows up. I mean, it depends if he goes north or west. I guess we'll find out. 